All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is Wedding Objections. This is coming from the show Saturday Night Live. Let's check it out. Alberta, my love, my amour fou. Okay. Standing here in front of you, I know that my life is finally complete. Although we may come from different worlds, I, Harrow and Oxford, you, the WNBA. <laughs> oh, love is whoa. One for the ages. All right. And now for the bride's vows. My dearest little Ian. Little Ian. Before I met you, the only time I felt truly alive was when I was out on the court, throwing elbows, <laughs> pushing b Right. Fouling out in the first quarter, wearing my plastic face mask, and laying sisters out. Right. But now that I have you, I feel complete. <laughs> Beautiful. And at this time, if anyone can see any reason why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. I see <laughs> oh, everyone now raising your hands. Every single person. Yes, why don't you start? Uh, okay. Hi, uh, oh, my name is Marnie. I'm the bride's roommate. Um, Alberta, you barely know this man. I, I mean, you met him five days ago at a combination Taco Bell Pizza Hut. Ooh. You guys have had... 50 times in our shared living space and in the rare moments that you're not going at it you are having full scream fights on the front lawn please do not do this right marnie i love you but you're a hater and you're jealous right marnie think of it like this you're not losing a roommate you're gaining a roommate. <laughs> yes, you, lady right here in the front. Hi, Ian. Remember Five days? me? I'm your wife, Patricia. <laughs> Quick question. Why are you throwing away our marriage like this? <laughs> and to that, I reply, I'm not throwing anything away. Okay. I'm throwing a clutch three-pointer right at the buzzer, and that's happiness. <laughs> it looks like we've got a line of objections forming in the aisle. No, Go ahead, step up. Bro. <laughs> Every single person is like, bro, you don't belong together, obviously. To the point where they basically put like a talk show microphone in the middle of the aisle. And now they are all about to commence in a barrage of absolute hilariousness, I am sure. Up to the mic. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm the father of the brand. Damn it, Alberta. Does this white boy know how many kids you got? <laughs> how many kids you think she got, sir? Uh, I'll say three. Three. Well, double it and add four. <laughs> Dad, Ten. Do not ruin this for me. Ten. Ten kids. Right. You need to be straight with this boy. He just adopted the Wu Tang Clan. Oh. Ho. Ho. Sir, ho. sir, thank you for your concern. Right. Your daughter did actively deceive me in this matter, but I deceived her as well. Alberta. I am not the king of England. And the only castle I own is a white castle. We good. Right. Who white is castles? the next dummy? Uh, yes, hello. I am an emergency room doctor. And okay. a few days ago, this man was admitted to my ER with what I can only describe as a shattered penis. <laughs> That's my bad, sorry. Oh. <laughs> And after about 10 hours of surgery, I was able to reconstruct it. Uh-huh. Yeah, mostly. Mostly. Yes, mostly. But it is still very much touch and go, extremely fragile. Um, the best analogy would be a late stage Jenga tower. <laughs> and I'm just so, so scared for what may happen to this man's penis tonight. <laughs> <laughs> because if there is one wrong move, uh. Jenga! Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks! Bye! Yeah, right. bye. Right. Yes, the young lady in the headband. Uh, yo, what's up? I'm Alberta's teammate Cassidy. Hey, go Lady Bears! Uh, I know you love this little guy, but Coach said we got a real shot this year. You gotta focus on the game. A WNBA championship? We'd be set for life! $5,000 split among us. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, guys. That's probably accurate. Maybe she has a point. Hey, baby, look at me. 
I can do both. Mm. By the day, I will pull down those rebounds, and by night, I'll pull down my drugs. Okay, how about one last objection? I don't know these people. <laughs> I was just walking by, and I caught a very brief glimpse of these two through the window. Okay. Now, I am a mild-mannered person. I don't speak in groups. I don't get involved. Okay. But when I saw these two, every hair on my body stood up and said, Evelyn, get in there and shut it down. <laughs> also, I am a psychic. Right. And I can tell you with complete confidence, all of this ends with a gruesome murder at a female big and tall shop. The <laughs> at a female big and tall shop? Do these things exist? <laughs> I, never, I don't know. Evan <laughs> will be an extra large plastic hanger. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have heard your complaints. We have. Right. We understand your trepidation. We mm -hmm. do. And yes, we are very different people. But more importantly, Daddy needs his chocolate. Right. He need it, need it, need it. That's why. Chocolate in the morning, chocolate in the evening, <laughs> chocolate at supper time. Thank you. Well, right. If that's Bro, how did he get through those lines? All right. I don't know. Look, they normally break character. I don't even know how you said this out loud with a straight face, guys. All, I'd like to add my objection to the mix. <laughs> okay. I also pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Listen, the objections were ridiculous. Um, I definitely would have liked for them to be a little bit more wild, right? But I get it, right? Yeah, SNL is not as wild as, let's say, uh, how Dave Chappelle would have done it at the very least. But either way, right? Absolutely solid. Um, but yeah, listen, let me know in the comments on the next one of these from the show that I should be checking out. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly.